I am a co-founder of Mycelia and Foods Limited, uh, formerly Mushroom Farmers Health Hub Group, uh, where we deal with the mushroom value chain. Uh, we bring uh, mushroom farmers together. Uh, we are in 23 counties in the country, whereby we deal with uh, button mushrooms, uh, oyster, portobello, cremini, and other varieties such as shiitake. And uh, we grow our mushrooms uh, from scratch, and then we sell to our customers who mainly are supermarkets. We take to Naivas, uh, we take to Carrefour, and other groceries. Uh, we started uh, not so long ago, uh, in 2017. Uh, as a group of just bringing farmers together. Uh, so for us, we saw what is this that we can grow within a limited space that can take shorter time and can be able to bring you an income. And that is how we bumped into mushroom because mushrooms takes about two to three months to grow. We're not just selling mushroom uh, plain. Uh, we are doing uh, dry mushrooms. Uh, so we are, we, are, we are drying them and packaging them so we can now sell as dry. Uh, we, are so, we are also doing powder. This is powder made from mushrooms. Uh, so this is our innovation. We're not just selling fresh mushrooms. And we are, we are showing people uh, other things that they can be able to eat uh, out as alternative from meat. Uh, so you, you don't have to only rely your protein source from just meat. You can eat mushrooms. We are a group of farmers. We have about 250 uh, members, uh, 80 of them being in active production. Uh, so as uh, the impact that the first impact we are doing is to them, because now we can be able to offer a market for their produce. Uh, and also uh, when we offer a market, they can be able to earn a livelihood. As Mycelian Foods, we have employees that we have employed. So we are a source of employment. Uh, and also in uh, the, the environment whereby we do produce our mushrooms. Mushrooms do take, they, they, they reduce their carbon footprint in the environment. So when we, about, when we produce mushrooms in that area that we produce mushrooms, be assured that the level of carbon dioxide there has reduced uh, measurably. And also we, we use, uh, we, use uh, uh, we call them agricultural waste such as wheat straw. Uh, so instead of just burning and exposing it, the, most, the, the smoke to the environment, we're able to use that, uh, that waste from wheat that is grown from wheat uh, and we, we, are, we, we can reuse it and grow mushrooms from that. We have been under incubation for K from, from KCIC, whereby we were taken through a few trainings, uh, whereby we, we I, like I said, we started as a self-help group. Uh, so we were shown uh, there is need for us to grow into a limited company and uh, the advantages of becoming a limited company. And uh, through KCIC, we have been able to do other product developments, not just selling uh, fresh mushrooms. We are now doing value addition. We are selling uh, dry mushrooms. We are selling uh, mushroom cookies, mushroom flour, uh, and other snacks from, uh, made from mushrooms. KCIC helped us to uh, purchase some uh, machines. We have a dryer uh, and we have a milling machine now. So we are able to, to minimize on the losses because before we used to have a lot of uh, post-harvest uh, losses. But now uh, any mushrooms that, is, that does not make it to the market, we are able to dry and mill into powder. Future plants is uh, for us to grow, uh, grow big as mycelia. Uh, we want to have a production plant whereby we will be now producing uh, other value added products for mushrooms in large scale because the market is also growing. So in about three, uh, two, or three, two or three years, that is where we see ourselves, ourselves at, having a production plant which is sizable enough. I can tell you that agriculture is the next place to be. Uh, there is no employment. The, uh, what is remaining is for us as youths to wake up, dust us ourselves from uh, not just looking for employment, see that there's something you can do with your own hands. And agriculture is a place whereby it's open for everyone. It's not just for the old and the retired folks back in the village, 
come and embrace agriculture so that we can work together and pr produce food for the country. So I would like to tell KCIC that we are very thankful for them. They have worked with us uh, from Poly, from Maureen, all those are the business hubs that we had, Akina Karen. I'm just saying a big thank you to them from the chairman uh, going all the way down. It is a big thank you because we had applied for assistance from other groups, but KCSC, they are the ones who give us a listening ear, and this is the first support we have gotten, so we are very thankful. We have been able to impact our members. They are, we are growing bit by bit, and, and we are thankful for that. EU and Danida, we are very grateful. Thank you for the support. You are really doing an impact here in Kenya, uh, because us as youth and women enterprises, we have been able to access if not just funding, but also support from KCIC, and for that we are very thankful.